All right. All right. Took me a while to get this set up because apparently DSX does not run so well on modern computers, but I uh, tried to do the training like two or three times, just like the first five seconds to see if every, all this recording business was working, and uh, I ran at the speed of light, and everyone spoke extremely quickly, and then cut themselves off. But uh, after installing some kind of mod thing, uh, I think we're good. Alright. Okay. This is our playthrough for 2-Bit Game Club. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the Academy. And, uh, for the month of May, our game that we'll be talking about is Deus Ex, which I have played a little bit of the beginning once before, like a year ago, but otherwise never touched. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items. I don't remember very much from that. The key on the desk opens encryption-based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Uh. Okay. Is that? Is that the? Is that the zero button down there? How do I not have this? Hey, right. you're going to get a Shooting lot of equipment the during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals Whoa. and Whoa. any notes you may decide to take. Whoa. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. Uh, One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Weapon? Oh. Hello. Uh, okay. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Interesting. Hi. The doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength uh, and an infinite lock strength. That means you have we'll to make find the key. Easier for you to open the door, use the code 0012. Hi. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into a keypad. Oh. You activate the oh. keypad with the right mouse button, stop? Ah. just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Okay. Um... Use the disposable multi tools on the oh. table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi tool's resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. Alright. Whoa. Uh, yeah, so one thing I'm noticing, because I played the, the new Deus Ex, that's my entire experience with, um... Oh shit, what am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> oh. Fancy. Uh, oh. I'm here uh, to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks yeah, so I played the original, or the new, sorry, Deus Ex. That's my main experience with it. So this will be interesting to see what was taken, what was left behind. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for his next training <laughs> exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key. Oh, uh, okay. Afterward, pick up his body Just... and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. So they actually, like, drugged him so I could move him around. <laughs> wow. That must be a very uncomfortable thing to volunteer for. Uh, bring this guy to a table somewhere? Not that door, maybe. Um, that's locked. Do I need to use my... 
key ring on it. Can't take out, gotta put the body down. Okay, so I can't have more than one thing out at once. I haven't figured out which button is put things away yet. I just hit one because there's nothing in there. Oh, why do I keep? Good work. You know, I'll get someone sensitivity. down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move right. on to the next area. Whatever you say, boss. Uh, you can bet oh. this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn <laughs> okay. on your light augmentation and find the exit F on the other side. Just press F12 by F12. Default. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. You're not a mech, but you're okay. enough of a machine to need repair now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting through the dark area, for example, oh, I have energy. this contraption can charge you back up. Learning a lot. Uh, recharge. Congratulations, you completed phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like oh. the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Terrorists? So I can crouch? Oh, that's... Jump across the platforms. What? You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. Not see. If you fall, use these stairs to begin again. How do I crouch? Not control. X. X. Wow, things have changed. Uh, okay. <gasps> Might rebind the controls then. Something a little more recognizable. Then again, Liam freaked out at me when I used an analog stick to play ActRaiser, so. You need to go through the door up ahead, maybe it's important it's that I Those wooden crates experience this game and too heavy to lift, as the, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. As the people to in the past crate, would. Walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. How? I don't need that, I guess. Where am I trying to get to? Is there an... Oh, just over there. Hi. What? What? Now, go up the ladder at the other end of the room. By okay. default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. Easy enough. Oh my god, I'm dying. Because the water's contaminated. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Wow. I love how this guy is watching me die and saying, man, students are so dumb. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be it's gonna be adventure, everyone. interest to you, JC, because you need a bot's help to install new augmentations. Okay. Alright. So what we're learning is is that Welcome to the combat training area. New games taught me that I don't that I should be able to learn by just moving and playing. And this game is telling me that's not enough. And I'm an idiot. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Okay, right. done. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Uh, can't. Oh, there we go. So it's interesting that, like, because Half Life, uh, which I have played. Um, is there gonna be a target here? Oh, Half Life, which I have played, uh, also had like a in-universe like training thing. Um, like this does, where like you are going through training where they teach you various tasks, like how to shoot a gun, which makes a little more sense for this guy than uh. Gordon Freeman. Oh, I'm sitting before they come up. Good. If you hold your aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out wide and tightens as you hold. The longer you aim as a target without moving, 
the greater your accuracy will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. Okay, she so isn't aiming. Uh, I'm saying something. Yeah, you don't really see that in modern games. You're generally thrown like into the action. Uh, well, like it's assumed that you're a competent person, even though the player doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Um, but then, like the scenario is just designed in such a way that you'll learn the tasks in like a stressful environment. Why is this not? Good work. Now proceed to the next I don't know, I don't have much interesting commentary on that. I'm just kinda of noticing differences. But like this is very much like I'm here to pick up all intro -y. Like the new Deus Ex like agent. you start the game, you follow you have like some like exploring the scene and stuff. Range. And then yeah, you're thrown you into you have to defend against all the terrorists immediately. Step up to the shooting range. Which, uh, the targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target I think and destroy I it, Mr. Rifle. Prefer the new scope way. I should probably read this. Scope, scope, left bracket. Oh, Alright. Uh, I think I prefer the new way because this. Is it supposed to turn solid at some point? Oh. Before it felt like I wasn't hitting anything. Now Maybe because I wasn't aiming. Now your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Yeah, see this feels less like... I mean, it's like an... It's in-universe since they're treating you like you're, uh... You know, this is this is part of your character's life. But it feels very... Contrived. Like, I don't imagine this is what... People actually go through. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I've never be in any kind of combat military role, so, you know, what the hell do I know? But I kind of like the game just assuming that you're competent already, even though you as a player are not. Good work. Um, as you can see, higher skills yeah. give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Hmm. Hand in your equipment. Okie dokie. Right. No cheating. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is the demolitions training area. First, you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window, and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Uh. Press the first button next to the window, and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the walls are proximity triggered. So there's a button that's just a push. Oh, here it is. So they just blew up that military hardware for land. demonstration purposes. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. See, that's the part of it that makes, I don't know, just feels <laughs> contrived to me. It, it just feels more natural to learn, Get like... Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the uh, ground and detonate. It just feels a lot more natural, um, learning, like, while you're in an actual situation. Maybe that's just kind of like my learning style in general, but like... <laughs> See, I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't... <laughs> I just... It's this 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 kind of like like um you know he says something and then they test me like in a very clinical way doesn't work for me more than like you're in the situation figure out how it works kind of deal uh, as you can tell because I <laughs> just <laughs> okay. I don't have a left leg or right leg anymore I guess so I have to go close to what is with my hand. You know, I'm, I'm not just unaugmented. I don't feel human. Well, holding right click puts it away. See, I'm learning just by... Okay. So it's proximity. So I was about to freak out because I was beside it. And then I'm going to hit... 
Oh shit, which one of these am I supposed to hit? Uh, okay, so there's a mission log, which was a button that I could push. Uh, oh, that made the game almost freak out. No goals. Um, open the door and... Oh, those are notes that I've gotten. Oh, okay, so it doesn't tell me. Uh, switch or switch? Uh, Alright, that releases the second one. I guess it was one switch for the first one. Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolitions training. You'll need a few extra lamps for the demolitions area. Here, catch. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. So the grenades when you throw them and proximity mines when you land them. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Yes. Remember this for future reference. Okay. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamp. Try that now. Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this, and your lamp and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. The area yeah, it's just the like the way people the talk. we like, facility. Here you, will you know, they they say things like, "Notice how the wood door explodes and metal doors don't explode." It just feels like they essentially took and tutorial text and put area, it in the name of the characters. So it's and remove all kind of very lamps before weird. You can to I just laugh at it a lot, I guess. Like, we drugged this guy so you could pick him up. Diffuse it by right clicking. Diffuse by right -click. right click will remove the lamp from the wall. Okay. So, I mean, in, in the real world, this seems very ineffective now. If I know that all my enemies can just run at these things and turn them off like that quickly. But I guess, I don't know, NPCs are dumb, so I have to get all of them. Uh, bum bum. A word of warning, Agent Denton. Yes. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. Oh, yuck. I guess maybe they are harder in real life. Um. Hi, yep. Few incidents. Got to start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. Okay. Uh, covert. Now you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. Okay. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Alright, um... What does this button do? Stealth test reset. Uh, okay. Whoa! How do I, how do I stop this? <laughs> oh god. Oh, wait. You blew it. The alarm has closed the north door. Return to the control room to the south and press the button in the overlook window to restart the test. Oh, it is just said the lights are just... Alright. This time, don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched, stay behind the crates, and stay behind the guards. Okay, I don't... Okay, I used up all my goggles, because I didn't know how to turn them off. I guess that lets you see through things, maybe? I don't know, I wasn't able to learn. I'm sorry, game. Remember, don't let the guards see you. Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. Oh, you can lean. Yeah, maybe for all my talk about, you know, different tutorial styles, maybe I'm just completely an idiot and, you know, 
the uh, all this commentary is mute. Moot. Is there, is there? Oh. Hello. Okay, so there's two guards, one comes down the right, and then one comes down the left, and they kind of walk up and down, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta stealth past them. Oh boy. This guy's gonna come up here eventually. That's my one problem with stealth gameplay sometimes. Maybe I just feel antsy because I'm recording right now, so I'm, you know, the back of my head is harassing me about the entertainment value of what I'm doing, but the whole, like, you know what you have to do, but you have to sit around for, like, ten minutes? I don't know, I don't dislike it, but it is, uh, I don't know. This guy's going that way. See ya. Is he coming up here? Oh. Somebody's there. A guy in civvies. Always remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. Ow. Ow. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making and use shadows to conceal yourself. Be alert to every possibility. Okay. Sorry, team. Um. Yeah, I don't dislike it. It does seem weird. Maybe it's kind of trite commentary, though. I mean, all that matters is whether or not it creates the experience that you want or enjoy to have, which is feeling sneaky, gives you an opportunity to sit there and build tension. Oh boy. <sighs> okay. Hello? Hello? Just, I guess I'll just follow him and then just not stop. I guess the main problem is whether this other asshole shows up. Maybe I should just run for it. Whoa! Alright. Very good. I hope you remember this lesson, Agent. They have assigned oh. us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. Okay. Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Okay, useful. So I was about to wonder if that robot was about to murder me. Guess the answer is maybe. This is TNT. Alright. So this game is supposedly better than the new game, uh, with actually having multiple ways to solve problems and creative solutions, etc. Is that true? Uh, or is that just something people tell me? That will be the interesting thing to find out. I guess I can just stealth past this guy. I mean, I can certainly see tools. 
This guy doesn't go all the way. So I can have TNT. I don't have a gun. So I can't even ignite TNT. I can climb up from there. That guy... There's probably some sort of bridge control over there. Uh... Careful around this TNT. You can pick up the boxes and move them around. But crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. So why do I have the TNT? Hmm. The robot doesn't have very good sight. I think machinery would be better than me at identifying things. Security camera up there. Hello? Oh? I feel like this is going to be bad for my health. I like how I can identify it via the vibrations. Oh. I feel like in real life, if I was just crouching behind this thing, it would be very obvious what was going on to anyone walking anywhere nearby. But I guess stealth missions and like the proximity that like games usually deal with them in, where like you're like right beside everyone, are just kind of unrealistic in general. So there's no real way, I guess, to do that. Maybe, maybe there's some people in real life who are super sneaky. So I don't know what to keep. Coach, that is. I don't know where I can get it. Um, getting around the map, I guess. Uh, should I sneak around here? Let's see if there's anything right here. I guess I could have jumped in the water from the get go, come all the way down here. Is that coming back? Does it just walk around? Is that why it keeps going to the side? Because it's walking around my TNT? Um, what if I find a password? I guess in those areas, maybe. But I've learned about passwords from the tutorial is that they are just places. And I should anticipate that I will be able to find them by walking around. And that's what I've learned about the universe. Oh, thank God. Where would I find a password? So how do I try my flashlight? So I, I think it's F12. Um, oh, I found a gun. So maybe I'll shoot the robot. Oh, I could shoot the TNT! time. One time. Hello? Time to be a hero. That felt pretty good. I like that. Alright. Now I can not freak out about just searching the place for a 
<laughs> password hidden. Wow. Definitely don't like this. Ugh, password hidden behind. Uh... <sighs> so in the new game, when you get passwords, they just fill in automatically. For... See, I don't, even... <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. And I know it's recorded in my log, so going back here was incredibly useless, but... 0089. Oh, Alright. 0089. Oh, 0089. Oh, so I have a log somewhere, which in real life I will have to use. Uh... Oh, hey. That was fun. Okay. For some reason, I keep it keeps right clicking twice when I right click. I don't know what that is about. Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. What is this? A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. All right, well, I'm gonna go through this lore. Um, actually, I'll go through it on the thing, because I think some people are watching this just to get an idea of the game. So the let's NSF, just do this quickly. The biggest terrorist threat in the US. This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American Revolution. Okay. Got it. They're peacekeepers, they're terrorists. This page industry's walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. Okay. An inexpensive security bot, a favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. This is the old augmentation technology, hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics, a maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual that made me file in my office in the med lab, the coalition's new nano augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population, except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Okay, I have a brother. Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? <laughs> Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. I mean, I don't feel like this test disqualified me for that, but okay. Thank you, Mr. Page. Alright, um, take a quick break and then we'll get the actual game.